Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. In my last video, we explored integrating AutoGen with Google's experimental UI framework SOP to quickly visualize the multi-agent applications. However, the multi-agent landscape offers more than one compelling option. So today, we turn our attention to another strong contender, Crew AI. For developers leveraging this powerful framework, we are diving into the exciting possibility of integrating Crew AI into the Messup UI. If Messup is new to you, you can check out my previous video or visit their GitHub page for a comprehensive overview. In short, Messup is a user-friendly Python framework designed for rapid prototyping and testing of LLM-powered applications. It offers it offers a rich library of pre-built components, allowing developers to construct intuitive UIs with minimal effort. This framework is open sourced by Google with their internal team after being practically proven by them. And for those unfamiliar with Crew AI, Crew AI is another powerful and practical solution for multi-agent development framework. It's focused on efficiency clear role assignment, deterministic interactions, and seamless integration with LangChain make it a compelling choice for developers who is seeking for a robust and production-ready framework. Crew AI empowers the developers to build sophisticated multi-agent LLM applications with rich tool set and reliable task workflows. This tutorial will demonstrate how to build a simple mess-up application that leverages uh, Crew AI for a multi-agent workflow. We will create a chat interface where user can input a topic and two agents, a researcher, and a writer. who will collaborate to generate a technical blog post in the output section with a workflow section that contains the reasoning process of all eight. Now let's quickly go through the code. First, let's install the packages. You should make sure that you install the correct version. Until now, there is still a version conflict between the latest version of uh, uh, MySOP and Crew AI. So we have to install Crew AI without newer than 0.30.8 and the latest MySOP will be okay. Then import these necessary libraries. Here we input Crew AI components, land chain, for LM interaction and a customer handler and a mess up with the experimental library uh, of messup.labs for some prototyping functions. Okay, we're going to initialize the agent. As this first step, we initialize the language model GPT 4.0 and define two agents, writer and the researcher. Each agent has a specific role, backstory, and a goal. For example, for the writer, it's tech writer. The backstory is you are a tech writer who is capable of writing tech blog posts in depth. And its goal is write and iterate a high quality blog post. It's a very simple definition here, just for demonstration. And then you will notice that for each agent, there is a callback parameter. It ensures that a customer handler captures their messages, which will be the key in the project to redirect the agent output to the MassUp UI chart widget. You can define a list of callbacks functions. Here, the callbacks list should be included in the chains that defined in the LangChain framework. So we should build our own customer handler based on LangChain internal class. So here we define the class. 
my customer handler that inherited from the base callback handler from Langchain. This custom callback handler is very crucial for capturing and display the intermediate messages generated by each agent during the workflow. We leverage the onchain start and the onchain end class function from its uh, original base callback handler class to append the messages to the state agent message list based on different stages of the workflow. So at the beginning of the chain, there will be assistant message that being appended. And at the end of the chain, there will be a agent message that will be appended to the agent messages. In that way, we can display both the internal assistant message generated by Langchain framework together with the agent messages that generated by Crew AI together on the MESOP UI. Here the variable state and its member agent messages are created by MESOP's decorated state class. In this class, we define our agent messages as a string list that can be delivered across the web sessions. And we will introduce this later. After all the agents created, now we can continue to create the workflow. The function here, state crew, orchestrates the entire crew AI workflow. It defines two tasks, task one, for the researcher to gathering information from a certain topic delivered by a variable prompt. The task two for the writer to generate a blog post based on the research. Then it creates a crew with these tasks and, and agents specifying a sequential process and then the kickoff method initiates the workflow in a synchronized uh, process. And the final result will be returned for display in the output section. Now we have done the Crew AI workflow setup. Moving forward, we should build the mess up page to facilitate the multi-agent workflow. So together with the state class, we also need to define the style. So in the state, it will hold the agent messages for displaying the workflow across the web sessions. And for the final display, we will need the style that's created by uh, ME border and ME style that follows HTML inline style uh, API to ensure a visually appealing interface for later use. Finally, we define the method page. It's very simple. At the beginning, we create a text-to-test -text component for user interaction between input and output section and a section to display the workflow messages stored in the state agent messages using me markdown function. If you have my last tutorial about autogen and mess up development, you must know that the text to text component is a very high level component that abstracts away the complexities of building a basic text generation UI, make developers code as neat as possible. Here you can see the first parameter of the text-to-text -text component is the handler function, which is responsible for processing the user input passed by the input argument, and its return value will be displayed. So we put our start crew function into this place. For the workflow section, we just use our predefined style for the box and list all the messages 
that's stored in the state uh, agent messages with a markdown uh, style. Okay, that's all for the code. To run the code, you need to wrap up the code in a py file like methopcrewai.py and then run the method command in your console. So let's type method method crewai.py. If everything is fine, you will see this log printed and it will show you the URL of your web server with the default port 32123. Then you can visit it with the pass crew AI. Don't forget about that. Let's try enter our input message. Create a blog post of GPT-5 in 150 words. Okay, here is the output for the blog for, for the blog post. And we move down in the workflow section, you will see how these agents perform their reasoning, how the assistant asks the question and how the agent make a generation. Now it's your turn to build your own sophisticated multi-agent applications with this easy for use UI tool. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.